the Denison is going to be the Highline 102 foot Ocean Fast from 1989. And Justin Neistat gave us that amazing tour of the Arthur's Way at Flips 2020 is showing this boat. Hi, I'm Justin Neistat with Dennis and Yachting. Welcome aboard the 102 foot Ocean Fast Highline. She was built in Australia, uh, built in 1989. She's got a lot of really cool features I think you're gonna like, um, such as her Kamiwa jet drives, we'll go over a little bit later. Allows you to get into some really shallow water. Uh, most 100 feet yacht, yachts like this uh, draw six or seven feet of water. This boat only draws four and a half. So you can get over to the Bahamas, get really close to shore. Um, it's, uh, it's a really unique feature to have. Um, just like Thunder, just like so many other uh, Kamiwa jet boats, uh, this boat was, um, was designed by the legendary John Vandenberg. Uh, it's one of the coolest things I think with this boat is, is uh, her designer. Uh, John Vandenberg was famous for designing over 200 yachts. Uh, and he was also at one point in time, one of Louis Vuitton's designers. So I think you'll see as you go through the boat today, um, there's um, a really cool element to, to the interior and exterior uh, lines of this boat. Uh, you can tell that it was done by, by a very high-end designer. So uh, let's go uh, take, take a look through the boat and have a tour. Sure. Now that reminds me of the Thunder, the same company, right? That's correct. And yeah, the that. Th Thunder that's here in the show. Previously, uh, Lady K, Thunder is, um, uh, is also an Ocean Fast. She's a Bandenberg as well. So both boats are right here at the Denison Yachting Display. And we can see not one, but two Ocean Fasts that are uh, Kamiwa, Rolls-Royce, Jet Propelled. Um, and designed by John Vandenberg. But we're in the salon right now. Okay. And if, if one thing that's kind of neat about this boat is as you pan backwards, what you'll see is this bar area and it's got this awesome panoramic view out the back of the boat. So they uh, took the alfresco dining from the aft deck, raised it up to the flybridge and by doing so, you now can have this in indoor space that's kind of a flex space, indoor and outdoor. Great view, but you also get in climate controlled so you're in the air conditioning. Um, so it's a really unique uh, idea, I think, the, the design of that. All right, I see a nice big screen. Yeah, that's definitely not an original from That is not original, no. Like Most of the boat is original. <laughs> the crew's done an amazing job of keeping the boat in top condition. Uh, but yeah, there are a few, uh, obviously AV equipment, some electronics and stuff that have been replaced on the boat. Um, and you know, it's uh, a very wise person once told me that why would you put a tattoo on the Mona Lisa, <laughs> right? So why change the interior of a John Vandenberg yacht that's uh, been, been around this long and um, it's a really, really unique interior that's kind of come back around. Do these seats also recline or something? I'm saying like they do. They okay. can adjust these chairs for sure. Interesting. And then what is in the center console right here? Okay, inside of R two D two right here is all <laughs> the AV equipment. Um, so that houses for your uh, interior and exterior stereo and uh, television um, with satellite. How do I open just, this? Oh, there we go. Oh, it slides around. Yep. I see. Have a table over here, and okay. So where am I going heading forward? Yep, just keep on heading forward up the starboard side here. Okay. And we'll come back and look at all these things that we're passing. Okay. Head to the master suite. I'm assuming. Yep, on deck okay. master, which was something that was kind of ahead of its time for for the date of the boat. So you may have noticed from from the bar area in the salon where we never took a step. We're all on the same same level the entire way. Right. This is interesting. Isn't that neat? Yeah. I'm sure the ladies love that. And there's a light around the mirror in the vanity too. Oh, right. So. Okay. Yep. I know sometimes on boats there's always something I miss because there's like always these hidden doorways or yeah. something. So just let me know anything that might be passing by. I see here. This is... Uh, does this open up? Is it this does, yep. Okay. There's a closet in there. Just pull it straight out. Oh, okay. 
Oh wow, that's like an optical illusion. <laughs> yeah, it's all mirrored. Just to give you guys an idea, this is a hanger right here and there's a mirror on each side. Wow. That's trippy looking. It sure is, yeah. <laughs> it's cool. Yeah, it's like three dimensional. Speaking of cool things. So in here in the master head, okay, the floor will accordion and it actually becomes a treadmill. What? So underneath the floor <laughs> oh, is a treadmill. Oh, wow. So can you imagine having your morning jog with a view outside the window there of the Bahamas or the, the Caribbean that waters? Is, that's too much. You know what I would have assumed that was? I would have assumed it's like a Toto toilet at first. I would have said, oh, those are controls for the toilet. You know what I mean? <laughs> I would have... You know, I mean, like the thought of, okay, this is going to turn into a treadmill. I've never heard of that before, so I just went in. This was, in, in, remember, it's 1980s design by legendary John Vandenberg. And as you come out, you'll see there's another closet here to your right. Do you have any images of that? Is it like a big, I'm assuming that's a whole thing to move around, right? Yeah, there's an image uh, um, actually on the listing, but okay. um, of, I can supply you with one if you'd sure. like. Sure. But now if one person's deciding to run, it must be a pain in the ass for the other person wants to just use the restroom. Yeah, you would use the day hat at that point. <laughs> okay, some storage over here. Oh, and then for, oh wait, the closet space for the master. So there's that, closet space here? Oh, okay. There's also the closet space we saw before. Yeah, okay. previously. My hands are... All right. Yep. So I'll follow you downstairs. Okay. And what we'll see here is the galley, which is down. Oh, let me just get a shot of this. This is nice. Yep. So that's your formal dining. Right we'll take a look at that when we come back out. I'll show you there's actually a dumb waiter there. So now you're in this massive galley that, um, that uh, is full beam. Oh, I don't know, I just need to get a shot of that. <laughs> this is a dumb waiter right here. This is the dumb waiter here, yes. So oh, this is cool. Put, put the dishes right in right here. Huh. And shoots right up to the uh, formal dining area. Okay. So as you can see, you have microwave, five burner glass cooktop, oven, full size side by side refrigerator here ice maker, refrigeration on the starboard side over there. And then as you move forward up the port side here into the cruise quarters, there's refrigeration down the left side as well. So there's plenty of refrigeration on the boat. And then what is this over here? This so that's an emergency escape oh, okay. for the crew. Up here. Well, what about the door? So that, there's, so that goes up and out to the bow. Oh. Yeah, so there's a hatch there. Yeah. And in here? Um, that's a storage closet. Oh, okay. And how many crew does this? Uh... Yeah, so you have two crew rooms, one here, another one here. They both have their own ensuite. So there's room for four full-time crew um, to live in, in this space here. Then from here, we can go back up to okay. the main deck. And we have laundry there yep, as well. Yeah, laundry facility here. All right. That's one of two. There's another one in the engine room oh. as well. So now you'll get a good shot from here of this formal dining area, the dumb waiter, amazing starlight or the skylight up there. Is on which side? It's right so here. This is it right yep. here. So not, okay, this is not. This is, yeah, this is a dummy. That's a dumb waiter. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, skylight. You, this is one of those spaces on board where I really get the feel that there's designer architecture all around me. You know, yeah. it's just, the, the space is unique. To have a formal dining area on a 102 foot boat is quite rare. Usually, the, from what I've seen, you have your formal dining as part of the salon. So to have this formal area here is, is quite unique.
wife can go downstairs here oh, and see two additional guest cabins. So those are both mirroring cabins. They're both identical. Both have a twin configuration, which could easily be converted to a slider so that you can make a queen bed. And they both have their own ensuite. And the same beautiful wood floors, that teak and, teak and cherry floor was followed through in the, in the heads downstairs as you saw upstairs earlier. Yeah, I like these floors. Reminds me of CL Yachts, that signature flooring that they have. Okay, showers right here. And then the door kind of hides that shower and you have a very large mirror. So I'm assuming the phone acts as an intercom as well, right? That's exactly what the purpose is. Okay. Yeah. So you can you can you can radio other 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 portions of the boat. And again, this is a mirror image of everything we just saw, so I'm not going to go through it all. But you get the idea. Okay. We're heading back up. And we're back into the main salon area here. And I so see we have a day head. And then let's see what else. Okay. Oh, Would you like to go upstairs here, here to yeah. the pilot house? Absolutely. So yeah, here we're in the in the in the pilot house. Um, these uh, a little different than what you may have seen before on some of the other boats. These, each of these buckets, both engine turns independently. So the captain can turn both sides. You can, and if you, if you take a look, you can see both sides here, if I move them both. So one side can, can kind of pull and push at the same time. It gives, in my opinion, more maneuverability to, to the captain. Again, again, I remember that, those kind of controls on the Thunder. That's correct, control. exact same Kamiwa uh, it's from Sweden, uh, Kamiwa uh, controls and Kamiwa uh, jet drives as, as Thunder has. Yeah, a nice sitting area and it slides out so okay. people have a place to put their feet. Then I'd like to welcome you upstairs to one of my favorite spots on the entire boat, the flybridge. Isn't that neat? Yeah. So you have your, like I mentioned earlier, you have your upper dinette. Um, so you, you don't miss out on having alfresco dining by not having the larger aft deck. So you have your alfresco dining up. Also here in the hot tub, there's, uh, there, this, there's cushions that can cover the top of this. So if you wanna have a sun lounger here, you can. And if you'd like, we can go to the forward, to the helm station uh, forward here and look out and you'll see more sun bathing, bathing space out on the bow. You just hop on over here. No, no, oh. we would go out the side decks and I'm oh, happy, okay. happy to show you that sure, space sure. if you'd like. So this is a barbecue grill. Oh, this is a grill here, okay. Yep. So if you pop this open, there's a latch here. This can stay up so it blocks the wind so you can grill right here oh, if you'd like. Really interesting. Okay. Yeah, so you don't even have to go downstairs to make lunch. Then over here you have a refrigerator and sink. And if you'd like, we can go out and see the foredeck and Absolutely. see the bow. Would you like to go back through the wheelhouse or? Whichever way you'd like to do it. Okay, let's go this way. Since we're already here, let's go this way. So we'll go down um, to the starboard side. Actually, oh, starboard or port. If you want to go down to port, we can go that way and go out, out that direction. Okay. I'll grab the door for you if you'd like. Does Denison go to the like Sarasota? I just saw I got like a notification about that. 
Sarasota boat show? Um, we're not active too much on the west coast of Florida, which is okay. a shame because I live oh. there. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. So we do have a Bradenton and a Sarasota office. Uh -huh. So if uh, if one of our brokers in that area has a listing to go on the show, we're happy to, to join that show. So one thing I love about these side decks is how high the bulwark is on your right side, on the outboard side of the boat. It makes it really safe for, for people to get around the boat, especially smaller people. So here we've arrived at the foredeck on the 102 foot uh, Ocean Fast High Line. As you can see, there's a great sun lounge here. There's another one back by the pilot house windows. And you could actually fill this whole area in with sun pads if you'd like as well. So there's plenty of room to have a nice party here. One thing I love about this foredeck is how big these, how wide these, uh, these cap rails are. I came out here the other night. I was, uh, I was responding to a few emails. You could sit out here and I was picturing you know, six or seven people sitting around here, enjoying conversation, enjoying an evening under some stars. So it's a, it's, it's a very practical space. It gives you just another environment where you can hang out and entertain on this boat if you'd like. Let's go back down the same way we came up. Side deck access, so you can. Uh, there's an easy stairway to get out, and then and then uh, join the boat right here at this doorway. There's also side deck access um, on the from the aft deck, okay, and then and then they double from the from the port side as well. So there's a side deck access here on the port side, and there's also one on the aft deck on both sides as well. So that's the easiest way to really board the boat is with with a um, a tide rider and equipped uh, ladder on the side of the boat. So I think the last space for us to see aboard is the engine room. Follow me and let's go take a look. This is Captain Dan. Say hi to Captain Dan, everybody. Hi, folks. So if you head over to the port side and up the port side deck, you'll, have the, you'll find the uh, entrance to the engine room. Okay, we're going down a little steep over here. Just gonna head backwards. And a little harder when you're holding a gimbal stabilizer. And okay, here we go. So the biggest update that we'll find in the engine room is these uh, 12 cylinder MTUs that were replaced um, brand new in 2009. They're actually 2006 models, but they were brand new and never used, installed in 2009. They've got about 2,200 hours currently. So the engines have been replaced and they have been updated. So 2,100 original hours. So you've got two generators back there. And then beyond that, there's the Kamiwa uh, jet drive systems. So by, by jet boat, uh, this boat does not have exposed props and rudders. It has an impeller, pushes water through a jet system, uh, and that's how the boat's propelled. So uh, our maximum speed's 27 knots. And at 27 knots, she'll put out about a 17 foot rooster tail. So we'll head back upstairs and take a look um, around the outside. Easier going up. The back deck is very high. There's no like, right? There's no lower deck, no like uh, beach club type deck or anything like that. So there is a small swim platform and there, there is a large tender garage. When that tender garage is opened up back here, then it, then it becomes, a, a, you can set it up as a beach club. Okay, and then the access to that is only from down there? That's correct, only for, oh no, I'm sorry. There's access from that to that from the engine room, but it would really be for crew only, okay. not, for, not for guests. It's really tight. Yeah, it's, a, it's only a hundred foot boat, right? Okay. So a couple other things that I wasn't, wasn't sure if you could hear from uh, in the engine room, so I want to mention out here. Um, the boat is equipped with an Atlas system, so it does uh, accept 110 or 220 power. Um, 
So it means she can accept electricity on the dock from anywhere in the world. Um, and, uh, and the other thing is, of course, she obviously has water makers, boats ready to go, ready for you. That's the only thing that's missing. So I hope you enjoyed that amazing tour that Justin just gave us. Let us know by giving this video a like. And of course, if you haven't done so already, be sure to subscribe, ring the notification bell so you're kept up to date on future uploads on this channel. Also head over to Denison's website, which I'll have provided in the description below. Check out all their boats. There's a lot of boats that they have. Way too many to even try to cover. Thank you very much for doing this, inviting me to do this yet again. It was a, it was a pleasure Thank and you, it's great to see you. And um, come out and see us at the Palm Beach Show or give me a call anytime if you want to get aboard. Sounds good. Thank you for watching, appreciate your time.